a tour of the Amazon Fresh Store in Irvine. This store just opened today. It's Amazon's newest and biggest supermarket. I wanna show you how the store works. When you come into the store, you got an option. Do you pick a regular shopping cart or the Dash cart? These are smart shopping carts where they're all computerized. They've got screens. You can shop with a regular shopping cart, but this is what you wanna use. And let me show you how this cart works. And then we're gonna take a look around the store. So the cart's really smart, but when you come in the store, you'll put your Amazon QR code here for fresh from the app and that's how it knows it's you and then here you put a couple bags in it it's got cameras it's got lights and so it detects everything that you put in so now how do you buy items in the store that have a barcode well this is pretty easy all you do you take the item and then you just put it in the shopping cart the shopping cart recognizes it and then you can see back here on the screen we've got mother-in-law's kimchi 7.99 each you know what, that's actually a little more than I want to spend on kimchi. When I take it out, it recognizes that I took it out again. And then you can see back here in the shopping cart, quantity one removed. Maybe next time, mother-in-law's kimchi. So to put produce into the smart cart, first you have to know the PLU. What's the PLU? It's a code on the oranges. It's right here. It says these are 3107. So now we're going to go to the smart cart. Then right here it says add PLU item. We're going to click that and then we're gonna put in 3107 and we're gonna hit enter. And it says, hey look, that's oranges and it has a scale in the cart. So we're gonna take these oranges right here in this bag, we wanna take a look at, and we're gonna put them right here in the cart. And as we put it in the bags that are in the cart, now we'll look back here and we'll see it measures it. That's three pounds, 25 right there, $1.90 confirm weight. Da -da. We just got $1.90 of oranges. So if you want to find things around the store, you can just ask Alexa. Alexa, where's Marsala wine? Find Marsala wine at aisle 11 and aisle 16. Hmm, we'll find it in aisle 11 and aisle 16. Which one shall we find? Maybe the cooking wine on aisle 11. And look, because I know what it looks like, I can tell it's right there. Super easy to find Marsala cooking wine. $2.39, five stars. That was a good one. Okay, this one's got a barcode on it. So we just put it in the cart. The cart knows we put it in. Look at that, Marsala wine in the cart. Now they've taken a look at the dash cart and some of the items, let's take a walk around the store. Starting from the regular shopping carts is the produce section. You can see the big sign that says, welcome to fresh Irvine. The produce is not prepackaged. It looks a lot like a Whole Foods produce section. You got your avocados, you got your bananas, you got everything you'd want. You've got the pre-packaged salads over here, and you've got the big sign that says 15 cent bananas in the back back there. They've got all the cut up fruits that you might see at a Whole Foods. They've got pumpkins that are $5.99 each. <clears throat> then just behind produce, we have meat and seafood. A seafood counter here that you would see also kind of like at Whole Foods. They've got a lot of the 365 Whole Foods brands that you might be familiar with. And the meat counter, it's quite a good meat counter for what I would consider, you know, a quick supermarket. There's all the fish here and it's full service. So you can get it from the butcher here. Thank you very much. And apparently you can order ahead using the app and just collect it here. So that is pretty neat. Then they've also got packaged meats in addition to just the butcher shop. Obviously this is opening during the pandemic. So they've got hand sanitizer stations where you can sanitize your hands. Hey, it's even got sanitizer in it. Look at that. We've got your standard assortment of chicken, poultry, and we end up back here in the dairy section with milk, eggs, creamers, tortillas, of course. And we'll take a walk around the outside. Now, through the market, they've got these ask, X, ask Alexa stations where you can ask it a question. Alexa, where can I find almond butter? Alexa you can doesn't. find almond butter. Wow, look at that. And it says we can find these three types of almond butter all in aisle 11. At aisle 11. That's pretty cool. And we can tell it, hey, we liked that. Thank you. 
that helps Alexa learn. I wonder what else we can ask Alexa. And where's aisle 11? This right here, this is aisle 11, so this must be the almond butter aisle. Well, it's definitely the peanut butter aisle. So I'm not gonna walk you through all of the aisles because then this video wouldn't end. And so now we're going down the juices. We're going down by the yogurts. Now, one of the things I've noticed walking around this store is there's almost as many Amazon employees as there are shoppers in the store because they've got to pick up all of the uh, online orders that they package. So you'll see Amazon shoppers walking around. Now, in this corner of the store, this is Amazon customer service returns and pickup. Actually, I just returned a couple of Amazon package here. When I got here, there's an Amazon locker in the corner. And then something that's kind of cool, they've got this best of Amazon section along with the Fire and Kindle stuff here. So you can pick up some of the most popular items on Amazon. And then they specifically label each aisle one, two, three, four. So you can find things in a specific particular area of the shelf. So, you know, if you want to get your instant pot right there, cooker, along with your groceries, you can do that too. Now, this section here at the other end of the store from where we started, or at the opposite corner, uh, we'll see deli meats. So there's a full service deli. It has sliced things. You can get cold pasta salads over here. They've got uh, sandwiches, and it looks like hot and cold. And I think if I was here earlier in the daytime, they'd have soups. I'm here at about 7.30 at night, so they're currently not making sushi at the sushi counter, but they've got pre-packaged sushis. Quite a bit of them that look pretty good, though I'm a bit of a sushi snob. So I probably wouldn't get the pre-packaged sushis. They've got the carvery here, where you can get fresh carved meats, Today, it's pork loin, salmon, brisket, or chicken. And they've got the side items over there. They've got the typical Whole Foods pizza setup. It is not self-serve, they serve you. And pizza slices are $1.79 each. That's a really good deal for pizza. And they've got the bakery with bread. They've got um, the other part of the bakery, which might be full service at Whole Foods, a self-service here, where you can find the cakes and you can find the little cake slices. There is no full service bakery here. And then this counter, I guess might have muffins during regular times, has some packaged breads. Uh, in this corner, there's what looks like a little seating area that currently has no seats for their grand opening. They have a sale on 12 packs of Coca-Cola for $2.69 each. And then they've got the big uh, normal bread section. So that's like kind of a big difference between this and Whole Foods is here you'll find a lot of the regular things that you wouldn't find at Whole Foods because Whole Foods just has kind of the upscale natural stuff. Um, but you know, for example, you would definitely not find Twinkies at a Whole Foods, but you will find Twinkies here for $2.49. So this is kind of cool. Each one of their uh, price labels tells you the rating of the item on Amazon, how many ratings it has, and how many stars it gets. So apparently the Swiss rolls people like better. This gets five stars and the Twinkies only get four and a half. Now I want to show you just a little bit more of the food bar. So they've got this food to go which has a lot of pre-packaged foods. So down here, we see there's some pre-packaged salads, there's pre-packaged cob salads, there's pre-packaged sandwiches. I would imagine during normal times that will be a salad bar. And then they've got the hot bar over here, which has places for soup, though there's currently no soups. And then it's got packaged, um, what, like mashed potatoes, it's got packaged macaroni and cheese, so some of the hot goods you saw back in the carvery are there. And then this is a really good price, though they're currently sold out. Rotisserie chickens for $5. That is like the price of Costco. And then a bunch of these meal kits here that you can buy the stuff and take home. You can see these are from the Amazon kitchen. You can get like a chicken breast or 
bacon wrapped parmesan. How much are those? They're like seven and eight bucks. So these look like pretty good things. If you're looking to make a meal in these clear things, they've got chicken pad thai, chicken tikka masala, turkey meatloaf, and spaghetti and meatballs. It's funny that these have ratings on them too. So let's see, what's the highest rated one? Chicken and meatballs had three and a half, but chicken tikka masala has four and a half. They have a very large beer and wine aisle, which is always a really popular aisle at Whole Foods. Uh, then they've got, if you want soups to take home, they've got ready to heat soups. So you can just bring any of these soups home. They've got some Boston chowder lobster bisque. These are on sale, $2 off. Crab soup, red lentil. This nice selection of beverages, teas, waters. And so here they have cash registers. So if you got the regular shopping cart, you would go through here to check out. They say they also have free two hour grocery delivery and one hour pickup with Prime. So if you have Amazon Prime, then you can pick up things in just one hour from the time you order. So that's pretty good. And that brings us back to the beginning of the store. And if you have your smart cart, then this is where you exit out. And with the smart cart, you just push it out over these green arrows. And as you do that, your credit card automatically gets charged. You get an email. And We're gonna go straight on that. Right all the way to the black carpet right over there. Awesome. So it's gonna automatically sign you out and then it's gonna send your email to your or your receipt to your email, sorry. Okay. Alright, you're all set and I'll take the cart from you. Thank you so much. Thank you. How what did you like about the dash cart? I get to do a little survey. And then you just pick up your bags and you go. It's almost like stealing, but better. So once the lights turn green on the cart, all you gotta do is pick up your bags, walk out the door. If you want a shopping cart to take to the car, they will give you one of these. And because it was opening weekend, they've also got $10 off coupons. Pretty neat. So how was the shopping experience overall? We really loved it. We love not having to wait at a checkout. It wasn't busy this weekend, but it really sucks my life when I get to a checkout at a store and have to wait a long time. Well, if you enjoyed this video, come check out Amazon Fresh. And you might enjoy watching some of my other videos from Orange County. You can find my San Clemente travel guide here or Dana Point right here. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of those videos.